Era boy. Era boy. There's usually some birds in these bushes. today. I thought I'd wear gloves today to keep my hands warm, but they're too slippery. Let's see what's going on in the van. Did you hear that? That's what my, this one door sounds like unlocking. Still works, but apparently it needs a new, what they call actuator. And that involves like taking the whole door apart. So it's a project for another day. Or never. Nobody came to clean the van. Bummer. Yes, I'm wearing socks and slides because number one, I don't really care. And number two, I was coming in here, so I gotta take my shoes off. I wanted that to be easy. And number three, what do you all think of shoes anyways? Like shoe shoes 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 are too narrow over the time that i spent in mexico of course i wore slides and flip-flops like a lot and my feet never hurt they used to hurt like long ago when i worked in an office and i wore shoes i didn't wear high heels well maybe like those wedge clunky ones but not you know and I always had back problems and knee problems. And then when I moved to Mexico, I lived there for eight years and I wore flip-flops all the time, except to go for walks. And um, I never had any problems there. My conclusion is that shoes are too narrow for our feet and they support them in a way that doesn't um, encourage them to be strong. I actually don't think that feet were made for shoes. I personally believe that feet were made to walk on. <laughs> Sometimes you need protection or warmth or whatever, but shoes should not be for supporting your feet. They also shouldn't be for restricting your feet. But when it comes to things that we wear, it seems unfortunately that it's usually more about how they're perceived to look than their actual functionality. And what is our perception of how it looks anyways? Without going too far down the rabbit hole, I think shoes are one of those things that are not designed to actually help us. They say that they're to help us, but I don't think they are. And or and or I don't think that they're designed in a way to help us. Moving on. Well, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but Let's see. I think I want to cut these cushions. They're too big to manage. I already made beautiful covers for them, but I can do it again. I'll just modify these. I've got bins here that were intended to put under the bed, but I don't find them that easy to access. So let's ditch them. Let's at least get them out of here. Oh, I'm happy to be getting stuff out. Ouch. Pinched my finger. This one's much heavier. We better see what's in here in case we gotta keep some of it. Sheets. Why are sheets so heavy? And a hammock and um, <laughs> some poop pellets. Yeah, that's what's so heavy. Maybe I'll leave those in here. I just kind of want to start over, you know? I just do. I just do. In case you don't know, I use these pellets. They're just wood pellets. What is this? Ugh. Okay, that won't come off at the moment. See these wood pellets? I think they're just used for people burning, like a little fireplace type of fire. One thing I've been noticing is I say, you know, a lot. And I've been having to edit those out, so that's annoying, you know? The 
the deal with the litter pellets is that makes it a lot easier for me anyways <laughs> to use the bathroom in here ah, I do love my bed though it is very comfortable these are my curtains they go here <laughs> I made this curtain rod and bent it out of copper pipe to fit around all this and um, this was supposed to be to tie it up but it doesn't work because the other four that I had fell off so but this one seems to be going strong these curtains they don't slide on here easily just the way I made the pocket and the way what this material is the inside of it is kind of sticky and it won't slide so let's take these off See, it's like impossible to slide this off and that's a problem because I need to slide it open when I want to drive and I have found that it's in the way. Oh, I kind of just want to cut these. I'm not going to use them for anything else. I might use them to make a pattern with some other material. I did enjoy making them, but it's kind of a waste of time, wasn't it? Okay, one side almost down. This is working block out light from behind me make a nice video something else I made it's only been like seven days and I'm kind of losing my desire <laughs> to do the box uh, I'm just trying to be honest with myself sometimes it's hard to figure out what I want but I'm doing something cuz it's been a while that I've been I've been doing internal work, but it's been a lot of sitting at home, reading, watching a lot of YouTube, just being scared to do things like deal with my van. So the past couple days I've been like, oh, I don't really feel like doing anything. What am I going to record? Part of that is because number one, it's cold out and as I explained, I don't really love the cold. And number two. I feel weird. I feel weird recording stuff around other people and there are people around. <laughs> I'm not hiding anything. I just, it just sometimes is, feels weird. Yay! There's my curtain rod. It's pretty cool though, right? Let's put it up.